Hello and welcome. I'm Corey Puffett, class of 2010 and a faculty member at DeMatha Catholic High School. I'm here with Connor Glowacki, a DeMatha's communication manager. The NFL draft is rapidly approaching and there are several stags in the mix. With the help of head football coach Bill McGregor, we've reached out to these alums and Connor and I will be interviewing them as a lead up to the draft. We'll then share these interviews via Facebook. After the draft, it is our plan to expand this platform outside of the athletic arena to include other members of the DeMatha community. This is our way of keeping Stag Nation engaged during this pandemic. On behalf of Father James, our president, and Dr. McMahon, our principal, and the entire DeMatha Catholic High School community, we thank you for your support. And now let's go ahead and begin. Uh, we've got Anthony McFarland here with uh, Connor Glowacki, uh, my partner at DeMatha. And uh, Anthony, I'll, I'll begin with just stating the obvious. You know, we would have loved to have had you on campus for this interview to do this in person, but with COVID-19, you know, everything is kind of upended. Um, yeah. how, how has this pandemic affected your preparation for the draft? Um, it hasn't really affected it as much. I'm just kind of just a little bit not able to get to a, to an actual gym, having to just be outside and, and get your work in, um, you know, after the combine, um, me expecting to have um, pro day, you know, that's another chance to, uh, get your, you know, the draft stock up and actually actually like the last chance. So the coaches, um, and how good you are and what you can do, and we weren't able to have that. So um, it, it kind of just pushed back everything and then us having, you know, FaceTime Zoom calls with the coaches, and, uh, with the coaches and GMs, um, other than being in face-to-face, -face, um, you know, it's, it, it's all been pretty well. Like, even though, all the chaos that's been going on like around the world. I still just been trying to just embrace the process and know that I still got a job to get done. Um, and that's just you know, trying to get to the NFL. So all has been all has been well, you know, so I'm trying to, you know, go through this or what we're going on right now. Well, I'm glad to hear that you've been able to, you know, cope with the process as it is right now. Obviously this is a very unique uh, yeah. draft process for, for everybody yeah. going through it. Um, yeah. I want to take you back to your time at DeMatha and just kind of ask you a couple of reminiscent questions. Um, you know, talk about maybe a favorite memory or, or your favorite teacher that you had while at DeMatha. Um, well, Miss Phelan counts. I say Oh, absolutely. Phelan. Yeah. <laughs> Ms. Phelan is probably my favorite teacher. Not probably. She is my favorite teacher ever um, I ever had in my life, even though she was a tutor. Um, helping us do like with homework. She always, um, she always just took the extra step, the extra mile for me to just make sure that I understood the work that I had to do, the work that I had to get done to graduate from the math. Because like she knew, she knew how like out of everybody, she knew how school, how hard school was to me, and, and um, it just meant a lot over the four years. How like as soon as I came in, since they went, um, it was just like she, she really took her time. She really put in. the time to help me like I'm talking about um coming in on Sundays you know um you know getting my getting helping me get my work done um it's just just little things like that so um, oh yeah no Miss Phelan is amazing I mean the fact you know most of us sit to math that we might teach you know one one class you know we might teach several sections of it but we teach kind of in one yeah, discipline she everything. teaching everything she's teaching geometry she's yeah. teaching history and, and that's what amazes me at the math um like I was always, I was always in there. Like I was always in the room, and even if it was just me and her, like I would be in there the most. And um, I would just watch her as she operate with the other kids and teach the other kids. And it was just amazing how she could just go subject to subject, like just like that. And I was just like, wow, it's just crazy how she can help so many people. And you know, what I'm saying one room, and it's just really one, you know, one person, like that's just going around, you know, just you know, hitting on every subject, man. Um, that that stood with me forever, and like no matter how far I go in life, I never forget um, everything that Miss Faye you know, did with me, and all the um, time she put in with me, helping me with school. What would you say is your favorite memory from your time at Damatha? My favorite memory. Um, now, that's a I tough question to ask. You probably had a lot of them. It's a it, my <laughs> hey, high school was fun. Man. I had so much fun in high school, so it's like. I'm just thinking of so many things. It's like I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if you will read if it was in school or it was out on the football field. Like I had so many memories at the math. It's just it's hard to think of like the one. You know what I'm 
I'm saying? But, um, Absolutely. Just trying to, just definitely, um, just trying to think on probably one of my best memories at the match is just us being in the training room every day, um, football, basketball, soccer. Um, that was just uh, that, that was just like our spot. We would just go in and um, you know lay down, uh, you know get treatment, talk, catch up. So that that's the thing that I remember the most, um, you know, from the match. Just when we everybody used to go in the training room um, when they didn't have class or they weren't doing anything, had a free period, and just go in the training room, just chill, talk. And yeah, man, that's that's the thing I remember the most. Anthony, you were recruited by a bunch of programs throughout the country, some of the top programs. You ultimately decided to stay local, went to the University of Maryland, just minutes down the road from DeMatha. What inspired that decision to play locally? Um, definitely seeing other guys locally, um, um, you know, that's come through before me on play at Maryland. Um, and some guys that has went to DeMatha, guys like Josh Wilson, um, you know, just showing me that you can do it in your, in your backyard or your dreams can come true from, from your hometown and where you're born and raised. So, uh, ultimately, that just inspired me to, to try to do the same thing. And one of the ultimate reasons I also stay home is because I wanted my family to make sure that um, they can see me play my four years in college. I was committed to Miami, um, silently committed before I committed to Maryland. And um, my parents told me, like, they were cool with me committing there, but they weren't going to be able to come out there and see me play a lot, you know? So that stuck with me, and I was um, – you know, I wanted them to come see me play all the time, so that was important to me. And nothing my decision. Like in front of family, right? Say it again. Nothing like playing in front of family. No, it's definitely nothing like playing in front of family. That's what I always say. That's what I enjoyed about playing that murder. Just playing in front of like the familiar crowd, people you're used to seeing, people you didn't play it against in high school. Like you know, seeing people from the WCC. It's just, um, it, it was just different. So I'm glad that um, I made that decision. I got to be home with my family. Did you feel well prepared entering your freshman year at Maryland? Uh, like, what would you say was the most difficult transition, uh, whether academically or or athletically, moving from high school to college? Um, I, I feel like I was good academically. It was just um, the mental part of the game. Um, I had broke my ankle my senior year of high school, so I missed my whole senior year. So I had to just come in and um, you know, just mentally stay strong and physically stay strong because I knew. Ultimately, I wasn't healthy 100% to go in as a, as a you know, true freshman and play right away. So um, my freshman year was a process. Um, it was a process. I mean, if it was a grind, but I knew I had to just, um, you know, stay patient, work hard, rehab, um, you know, be realistic. And then, you know, I knew someday I, I'd get a shot on the field. And Anthony, that, that shot soon arrived on the field. You played, you ended up playing two seasons for Maryland quickly let, left an impact. You had 1,000 rushing yards, your first your redshirt freshman season, a school record. And you dealt, obviously, you know, you dealt with injuries during your song, yeah. but still managed a huge final game against Michigan State, 134 yards on, a crazy efficient eight carries. And now you're about to prepare to go into the NFL. You know, there's always the critiques from people that about did players get enough experience at right. the level what makes you feel confident that you're ready right now for the NFL uh I feel like I'm a football player you know that's what I tell people um people always ask me you feel like you left school too early and I'm like no because I know my ability I know what I can do at the end of the day so um it's just like um I remember talking to Ed Reed when he came and talked to Merlin and one thing he always he told us that stuck with me is football uh, never changes and but you just got to understand the mental and physical um, aspect when it comes to ball. Um, and that's something that always stood out to me. So I'm not really worried about if I'm not ready. And I know I'm not the only one that's been through this before in college ever. So it's like, um, I'm not really nervous at all. Like at the end of the day, um, I made the decision that I made. I don't regret it. Um, I love everything that Merlin did for me, but I knew that um, I was ready uh, for the next level. And I was just ready to, they really focus on um, this football right now. So as we get set to start looking ahead at the NFL draft in your NFL career, um, I'd like to know who is your favorite NFL player growing up? Uh, somebody that you looked up to, maybe you wanted to emulate, and what is it about 
that player's game that spoke to you? Um, my favorite player growing up, it was um, definitely would had to be Sean Taylor for the Redskins, and he was on on the defensive side. So, um, you know, that just lets you know a lot about the mentality that he had, um, uh, the way he played the game. Um, you know, it just that's just one of my favorite players ever. He's just been, you know, since day one, since I've seen him play, um, watching him play at Miami. You know, I've always been a fan of him. So that's one of my one of my um, favorite plays watching growing up. One of my favorite plays ever that I really never got to see play, but watch his highlights was a uh, Marshall Falk. Um, yeah, one of the one of the good Hall of Famers. And, like the way he can, um, you know, how he's just an all-purpose back. Um, you know, the way he um, showed his versatility. Um, you know, both of them very special players. Yep. Anthony, one of the as you know, one of the unique things about Dematha football is that we can point to somebody in the alumni community who plays a position at the NFL level. And in your position, running back, that guy is Brian Westbrook. Have you had an opportunity to talk with Brian or any other current or former DeMatha Stags who played in the NFL? And if so, what advice do they offer to you? Um, I haven't actually talked with Brian Westbrook. Uh, um, yeah, I know he's a busy man, so I always understand that. But um, I have talked to um, Josh Wilson. You know, a couple of times before when I was when the, when I was going to train um, before before the NFL combine, talking to Josh Wilson, he was just telling me, um, you know, just when I get in, when I get into the NFL, just um, you know, stay focused, um, you know, don't get caught up you know, into the limelight. I'm coming level headed, you know, always work hard, and and he un also made me understand that I'm in the world, real world now. So. Um, you know, a lot of stuff I didn't have to go through, I would have to go through now by myself as a man. So um, I think that's the thing that he was talking to me about the most was more so off the field. Um, like he said, football is going to take care of itself. You do what you're supposed to do off the field. Um, you know, take care of your business off the field, on the field. Uh, you're going to be good. In addition to all of our players who have been and are in the NFL currently, we've also got we've got five stags who have declared for this year's draft between you, Chase Young, Tino Ellis, got DeAndre Kelly and Deontay Holden also. Um, have you guys gotten to talk to each other at all about this unique draft experience? Um, I talked to Tino. I talked to, I, I haven't talked to Deontay. Um, talked to Chase at the combine um, before we left. But, um, not other than that, we, we haven't really talked. And like I said, it's, it's a, I understand it all. I know it's just a, uh, it's a crazy time right now. Um, and then it's, it's close to, it's getting close to the draft. So, um, you know, everybody's going there, you know, they're different ways of, of, of trying to get prepared for that. Um, and that's, that's something I understand. So at the end of the day, it's like those guys know it's all love. Um, you know, we walked the, we walked the halls together um, at the math there. So it's just like our brotherhood and uh, our bond on the football field and off the field. Um, they know, you know, that will always remain the same. Anthony, you mentioned your time and experience at DeMatha. What did attending DeMatha and playing football for the Stags, how did that prepare you for your time at Maryland and for this potential future professional career in the NFL? Um, I feel like DeMatha prepared me for life. and um, I knew it would when I was going there in ninth grade. This how I seen um, me coming from a public school and then transitioning to private school. Ninth grade, just seeing how hard the, you know, just the structure and the curriculum is, um, I, I knew um, I knew it was going to be tough for me, but I always kept in the back of my head, like you know, once I graduate from here, right, I know everything that I went through, good or bad, um, is going to make me, you know, who I am today. And I feel like it has, um, I feel like the math has made me feel like this, just have some type of toughness about me. You know what I'm saying? About life, like no matter, um, you know what's going on, no matter if I had a little bump on the road or go through adversity, I know, um, I know it's, it's going, it's going to be okay. You know, it's going to be good. I'm going to be positive about it. And I feel like the matter and the people around the matter, they have helped me um, grow into that mindset. And uh, as a last question, uh, if you had an opportunity to come back to DeMatha and talk to a group of incoming freshmen or outgoing seniors, what advice do you think that you would give them about, you know, 
going into their, their high school career or coming out of it and into their college journey? Um, I definitely tell them enjoy it because it goes right fast. Um, even college goes right even faster. So I definitely tell them enjoy it because high school, um, you don't think that you don't, you won't think about high school when you leave. But when I left um, the math, you know, I thought about it a lot. You know, it was memories I thought about every day. So I would definitely first thing to tell them enjoy it. And, and anybody who got dreams of, you know, achieving goals, being in the NFL, NBA, it doesn't matter, any professional sports. Um, you know, I just, just tell them, man, just um, work on your craft every single day. Um, you have to, you know, to get to where you want to be. Um, you know, that's, that's where I'll tell them. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time out. Uh, you know, obviously it is such a busy time, but, uh, you know, I, I think I can speak for the entire DeMath community when I say we're really excited to see, uh, to see your name called, to hear your name called next week during the draft. Um, you know, I have a feeling that we're going to definitely hear it, um, uh, you know, by day two, <laughs> oh, I hope, but, um, uh, but, you know, we really appreciate you taking the time. Best of luck to you. Thank you and, man. uh, and we hope to talk to you again sometime soon with you on an NFL roster. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. Wanda Matha. Wanda Matha. Yes, sir.